guys, it's Tuesday morning. I'm on my way to work. Uh, let me just tell you what I brought with me for food. First of all, I did not make coffee this morning. Yesterday, I had coffee at work and discovered I really, really liked it. <laughs> we have a Starbucks machine at work and wow, the coffee that I had yesterday was just amazing. So I'm gonna have my coffee at work today and I'm going to use powdered creamer, which I find that I'm really enjoying for some reason. Um, and I can use a fair amount for only one point. So that's my coffee deal this morning. <clears throat> Pumpkin Spice Mug Muffin. Thank you, D. Harris. I am making another one of those this morning at work. It's super easy to just take the ingredients with me and make it at work, so that's what I'm doing. It is one banana, a third a cup of oatmeal, a tablespoon of pumpkin puree, a tablespoon of applesauce, one egg, and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Mash up the banana, stir everything together, and put it in the microwave for, I think, three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. That's the original recipe. I'm going to hack it a little bit today because I find that a third a cup of oatmeal is a lot. Like, it's a huge muffin. So today I only brought a quarter cup of oatmeal, which is two smart points instead of three. And I'm going to use, I have a ginormous banana. I'm going to use only part of the banana and probably half of the banana and two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, no apple, and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice <laughs> and the egg. So that's my breakfast. So that will be two smart points. Um, lunch is actually the lunch that I brought yesterday, the Weight Watchers chicken chili for zero smart points. Um, I didn't have it yesterday because I felt like sushi, so why not have it for lunch today? Super easy, it's already made. It's, I'm digging this leftover stuff, you guys. <laughs> I do have a ton of leftovers to eat though, but I'm trying to keep on top of them and work them into my rotations for meals. And then also I'm like freezing a lot of stuff. So it's working, it's good. I'm actually, even though I haven't been making a lot of the recipes for the recipe challenge, when I do make a recipe, it usually, it, it's, it makes a lot. And I'm pretty much the only one that eats a lot of this stuff. So I, I have this stuff for like a good amount of time. So even though I'm not cooking that much, I'm, I feel like I'm very well prepared on meals because everything I'm cooking makes a lot. So there's that. <clears throat> so yes, I'm on my way to work. There are two things that are coming up that I wanted to mention to you guys. Number one, actually it's the same thing, but I wanted to give you guys a couple opportunities to help me out. So Eddie's dad passed away from cancer. Um, I think it's been three years now, wow. Um, and we, every year, even before he passed away, he was a survivor for quite some time, and we participated in the Relay for Life with the American Cancer Society. So that is a program where uh, people get together and walk a track or walk a route in honor of cancer survivors, cancer victims, and to raise money for cancer research. <clears throat> So we participated in this. Eddie's mom still participates every single year. Our team name is Team Leo Love Each Other. And the relay this year is on October 27th. I would love if you guys feel inclined to help me out, if you would help me raise some money for our team. Um, there are a couple ways that you can do that. First of all, we have these luminary bags. So the bags are a dollar each, I believe. So if you would like to um, have a bag, let me know as soon as possible so I can mail it out very quickly to you. You decorate the bag. Um, most people will decorate it in honor of someone they know who has survived cancer or who has passed from cancer. So you decorate the bag however you want it. And then in the evening, they fill the bags with sand and candles and they have a luminaria service like a memorial service so there's the bags if you would like to participate um, or I can color the bag for you and put someone's name on it you can send me a photo if you would like to honor someone um, but we are definitely looking for donations for the bags and then the other thing I would love to have you guys do with me is on the 27th 
if we could all participate in a walk or a run in honor of my father-in-law and other cancer victims, survivors, if we could all participate in a walk together, let's walk one mile, you guys, together for cancer, to raise money for cancer awareness and cancer research, okay? Anybody who wants to do that, please let me know. I would love to take a donation, but also my brother-in-law makes, he has made some medals that I would love to give to you guys for participating with me. So please let me know if you'd like to participate. We would love to have a donation for the American Cancer Society, but I really want to get a medal out to you if you are going to walk one mile with me for cancer research on October 27th okay let me know down below um, you can email me um, you guys most of you have access to me on Facebook so let me know I would love to have as many people participate as possible it's a really important cause to me and really honestly to society as a whole because cancer everybody knows someone who has passed from cancer or who has cancer or who is a cancer survivor. Everybody knows someone. So it's huge, it's huge to me. So please let me know if you would like to participate, if you would like to help donate or walk, run a mile on October 27th. That'll be so fun. Hey guys, I'm actually outside for my walk break. Yay, I don't know why, but some days Sometimes it's so hard just to get out and make that time for myself. Now that I'm out here and doing my walk, it's awesome. It feels so wonderful out here. There's a nice breeze. It's just cool enough, but still warm. It's, oh, I love fall so much. It's awesome out here. Here's my outfit of the day. Leggings, because today is weigh-in day. I have no expectations at all. I did check my weight on my scale this morning just to kind of see where I'm at, but I feel like I had, like I just ate more this weekend than I should have. Um, I wasn't really careful, so I have no expectations. If it's up a little, it's up a little. Um, it might be down a little. I really don't know. It could go either way. You guys, I'm super, super excited to show you this. I managed to get my hands on some of this stuff teamy colon lemon flavored if you guys love the teamy colon i love teamy colon for what it does so much but it's so earthy tasting and it just tastes green and harsh <laughs> this is lemon you guys i haven't tried it yet but i smelled it it smells so refreshing like you can the lemon smells really fresh i'm super super excited to try it so it's actually out of stock already it went so fast um, I'm gonna find out when it's back in stock and I'll let you guys know because you got to try it. If you love Timmy Colon, try Timmy Colon lemon flavored, yeah. I also, if you guys wanna order, I have a link in my description box and you can get 15% off with my code Julie15, J-U-L-I-1-5, 15% off Timmy Teas, love them. Um, do you ever get, like, I'm so hungry right now, but I was like so much in the middle of stuff that I was too lazy, too busy to go actually make my pumpkin spice mug muffin. So I'm walking around hungry. Um, but yeah, I came out to get this walk and I'm so glad I came out here because it feels so great out here. And now I'm gonna go back and actually make my mug muffin because I am hungry. It's time. Okay, my walking partner can't walk today so I figured I would be lazy and take a car nap today because it sounds fun but I wanted to show you my ipsy bag first I got my ipsy bag I love ipsy I love ipsy but I love boxy charm more anyway got some cute stuff look at this brush isn't that adorable it's like a purple pink glittery look at it, it's so cute I love it. I don't, I'm not a brush pro at all, so I don't really know how to use them, but I'm going to use that one. It's very cute. I got this. It's called Belief Eye Cream. And you can't see that at all. Belief Eye Cream. So I don't know. I can never tell if I'm supposed to put this on under my makeup. Hmm, smells good. 
It's like a white cream. So I don't know if it goes on under my makeup or if I put it on at night. Yeah. Whatever's gonna take away any fine lines and wrinkles, right? Then I got this beautiful little eyeshadow palette. I love those colors. It's really hard to see in this light, but nice creamy neutrals. I love those colors, they're so pretty. I should have used this today. And I got mascara. There is never too much mascara in this world ever. So I have like 40, 40 tubes of mascara at home that I bought from the dollar store. I've got at least two tubes that I've got from Ipsy Bags and BoxyCharm, and now I have another. A girl can never have too much mascara. And the last thing I got, I'm gonna try this right now, is this, it's books, Buxom, Buxom? How do you say that, Buxom? Little lip gloss. I'm gonna put this on over this. This is, this super bright red, is the lip stain that I got in the last Ipsy bag takes a bold day to wear this. <laughs> I like it. Um, and I also, I mean, it's a real good stain. It's, it's stayed on like all day. Well, it's only one o'clock, but it's staying on pretty well. I'm going to tone it down with this and we'll see what the color looks like. I forget sometimes that you can take a super bright lipstick and tone it down with another color on top of it. This one's not really... Okay, this is a lip gloss for sure. It's... Hmm. Didn't really change the color much. But it feels nice. Hmm. Now I'm all pretty to go lay down. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys my Ipsy bag. Um, so the pumpkin spice mug muffin turned out perfect. What I did was a quarter cup of oatmeal, two tablespoons of pumpkin, and half of a very large banana, one egg, and two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. It was perfect, and it was actually just the right amount. It still puffed up really big and really yummy, um, but it was the right amount. It didn't feel as heavy in my stomach after eating it, so definitely a more a better amount for my stomach so I have not had lunch yet and I'm so not hungry so anyway I'm gonna take a nap I'll see you guys in a while don't forget if you guys want to sign up for Ipsy I have a link in my description box you can have this super cute makeup bag too with all the goodies inside <laughs> Ooh, super bright out here I'm walking to get my flu shot I don't like shots but I had the flu last year at Christmas I don't know if you guys were watching my videos then but it was miserable we all got the flu at Christmas Christmas Day the day after it was just ugh, it was horrible so hopefully I did get a flu shot last year but hopefully with this flu shot no flu this year um, because of Eddie's kidney disease we have to be really careful he can't get sick he should not get sick so we need to be careful and get our flu shots too so you guys if you haven't got your flu shot get it now that was not too bad I think the anticipation of the shot is way worse than the shot okay Weight Watchers is over and the verdict is this girl gained some weight this week which is a total bummer because I was so happy to have had a good loss last week and this week I gained it and then so uh, so frustrating I think I mean I'm still okay with my weight, but I was really looking forward to just very, very, very gradually going down. I was accomplishing that. Um, so I know it's just a little bump in the road. I just need to, you know, do what I know I'm supposed to do. And I just felt like, um, I don't know, I just felt like I ate more than I needed to this week. And so I know I can pull back on that. I am going right now to go have my salmon salad. And then I'm not having salmon salad. I'm not going out. <laughs> to that restaurant for a whole week. I'm gonna maintain, I'm gonna keep that as my, I'm gonna keep that as my Tuesday treat to myself, but only on Tuesday, cause I'm kinda going overboard. I don't wanna burn myself out on it. And in case there are any hidden points, extra sodium, whatever, 
it's probably just not good to be eating the same thing over and over and over. So that's one thing I'm going to change this week. The other thing is that I really, really feel like I need to move because I appreciate the fact that I don't really gain weight from not exercising and not running, but I'm also not getting any more toned. In fact, I'm getting flabbier. And I don't really like that. I don't want to be flabbier. I mean, it's not just it's not just the weight that matters, right? It's also I want to be firm and toned and strong too. So I think what I've decided is that I'm gonna to have to go ahead and join the gym again. Remember that um, I stopped my gym membership a month before my gym at work closed down. And since my gym at work closed down, I have not really been running or exercising at all. I just can't seem to find time to work it into my schedule. By the time I get home, I'm exhausted. I don't want to do anything. I can't wake up early in the morning because I'm so not a morning person. I can't do anything at lunch. I mean, I, I could, but I would have to run outside, which is not as enjoyable to me. I would have to run outside and then shower and do that whole number. So it's just not working for me. And the bummer thing is that when I join the gym again, I'm still going to have to go from work directly to the gym and then work out. So there's going to be drive time and then, you know, hopefully not have to wait for a machine for too long. Um, but I just, I just don't see any other option. I really feel like I will feel better personally for myself if I'm moving more and if I'm running again. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to it in a way. I need to do some research and find out which gym is going to be the best option for me. But also, I think that uh, my health plan will actually pay for part, at least part of the gym membership, if not all of it. So that's cool. So that's good. So really, the only problem then is the whole drive time. Like it was just so convenient to walk down the stairs at work, walk right into the gym, and do my workout. There's like no excuses not to go. Um, so the fact that I'll have to at least be in the car and go directly to the gym, do not pass go, do not pass home, because once I go home, I'm done for the day. So that is my plan. Um, and then I just need to pull back on some of the food, I guess, this week. I don't feel like I really overdo it, but there are some, you know, there are some days when I do and I, I just need to pull it back a little bit. I feel like this blue dot challenge is still a challenge for me. I'm doing so much better than a year ago when I could care less about blue dots. Um, I get, I think that I'm getting blue dots maybe 60 to 75% of the time. So that's some good progress, but I feel like I should be hitting blue dots like 100% all month. And that is still a goal of mine. I feel like I've already messed up October so much. Like all of my challenges, I feel like I'm slacking so bad and I don't know what it is. I need more motivation to do it. Like the planks, I did a 45 second plank today and it was no problem. It was, I won't say it was easy. But I did it and it felt good. So why can't I just remember to do the planks and make it more of a priority for myself? You know what I mean? I just need to, I need to make my challenges. These are my challenges that I choose to do for myself, for my health and my body. So I need to make these challenges more of a priority if this is really what I wanna do and I really do. So um, I just need to find more motivation to really nail this stuff down. So tonight I had to buy just one example of going a little bit overboard was that tonight I had to buy more uh, barbecue chips <laughs> because last week I bought a box of barbecue chips and um, these are, they're only two smart points per bag so I don't feel horrible. Um, but I, there was one day last week that I ate five of them in one night. So that's excessive. I don't need to be doing that. Um, so that's one example of, you know, it's something minor, um, but it's something that I could really pull back on. Also, there was one night, the night that I did the laundry, and I didn't post this on my video because it happened after the whole video thing was done for the day. I ate pizza, like literally in the middle of the night because I was doing laundry and listening to an audiobook. I wasn't hungry. 
I was bored and I wanted something to do while I was listening to my audiobook and enjoying myself. So there's yet another example of why I should be up 1.4 pounds this week. So, oh, I, I don't think I even told you guys I'm up 1.4 pounds, which puts me at 142.8. I'm trying my best to get to 140 because my happy weight where I feel really good is between 135 to 140 and my body is fighting it right now. <laughs> so I'm obviously going to have to do something extra to get myself at least to 140. That should not be a problem. It's so, it seems like it's so close and yet it's so far away. You know, it's, I know it just takes time and patience and doing the right thing over and over, but it's like, this much and yet it feels like this much you know so I don't know I just need to really re-motivate myself and I'm not sure exactly how to do that so anyway I am going for my salmon salad one more time this week and then that's it for me I'm cutting it off and I'm gonna stick to Tuesdays only for my salmon salad my treat at my restaurant <laughs> as a reward at the end of a long day I'm gonna keep it just for that, just for Tuesdays after Weight Watchers. So I'll insert another picture because I don't get sick of eating this salad. You guys are probably very sick of seeing it. <laughs> Again, let me tell you what the points are. I've been counting one point for the salmon because it's not steamed salmon, it's grilled, so there probably is some oil involved. So I'm counting one point for the salmon. And then if I, depending on like, d depending on the chef, some chefs like load it up with almonds and raisins and some just put it, you know, a fair amount. So almonds, slivered almonds are one smart point per tablespoon and raisins are one smart point per tablespoon. So the salad is gonna be three points to 